And now we're back down on the ground. Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I'm finally here in Fleetwood. I'm just on the edge at the moment. I'm actually on the beach here at Rossall, Rossall Point. And um, there's the watchtower behind me, which is used by the Coast Watch. They call it the Coast Watch and the RSPB. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you up the main promenade in Fleetwood from here all the way up to the North Houston Hotel and we're going to split this trip to Fleetwood into three separate videos. In the first one we're going to take a trip up to the North Houston Hotel and then in the second part I'll show you through the town centre of Fleetwood and then in the third part we'll have a look on the other side of Fleetwood, the northern side and the side where the docks are or at least what's left of the docks anyway. Yeah, there's some pretty amazing views out here. I can just see a, a, a boat going out there. It's actually the Mananen. Steam packet, Mananen. I've never seen that go from Haitian before because Haitian is over there. And I've normally got the other boat to the Isle of Man. This one normally goes to Liverpool but for some reason the Mananen is coming out of Haitian, so there you go. That's the big trimaran boat, the, the fast one that goes to the Isle of Man. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the promenade here, and I'm going to take you down towards the North Houston Hotel, and uh, we'll see what we can see. That's where I was out there, on the beach. And this is where I am now, as you can see. The signpost says Russell that way and Fleetwood this way and we are going to be heading up this way. It's a rather threatening sign there at the corner of the golf course. Just looking back there now. So I'm going to actually go onto the main road. I'm going to cut this bit out here where this field is and we'll head onto the main section of Fleetwood Promenade starting somewhere up there. Okay, so I've just moved up the promenade a little bit. I started over there, down there, that way. And now, pretty much of the main part of the promenade here now, at the uh, western end, there's a couple of care homes just over the road there. Check this uh, pavement here, it's quite fancy, isn't it? Anyway, this is where I am. I'm by the lakes. Yeah, the lakes. This is where you can play around with your uh, model yacht. There's a couple, couple of uh, guys down there now with the model boats. It's a nice day for it. Look at this, isn't this weather absolutely awesome? I'll just show you a shot of the boating lakes from the uh, from up in the air as well. Quite impressive, actually. There's a bridge going across as well. To this side, kind of split into three, split into three sections, and it's where the Fleetwood Model Boat and Yacht Club is based as well. Absolutely perfect weather today. Okay, so I'm now opposite Macbeth Road, and there's actually a council estate down there. One of the two main council estates here in Fleetwood, and there's like a new build here. Residential nursing home. It's only been built in the last uh, year or so. Don't know what was there before, but that is uh, fairly new. Got this big shelter here, look, quite impressive this. Anyway, let's carry on. It's a clubhouse for the model yacht and powerboat club. What I want to do is I want to go over this bridge here and we'll have a look and see what we can see from over there before we make our way round towards the North Houston Hotel. Let's go and check this out. Okay, so I'm now opposite Manor Road and as I turn around we've got these two kiosks here. Very busy. The ice cream. And this road here leads over the bridge so let's go and have a look over the bridge okay so we're just at the bridge now and i'm now looking towards the east on the main boating lake you can see there's a couple of big fairly big boats out there and they've also got these things here i think these are for training how to get out of a capsized boat these things here look. Right, 
Right, okay, so I'm now on top of the bridge, and if I turn around back looking towards the boating lake again, you might just be able to see that white building ahead. Can you see in the, in the middle of the screen? That's the marine hall. We're going to be heading that way. So I'll just give you a little pan round of this place here. Here's another view of the boating lake from the ground level. Uh, I don't think I'd like to have a go on that thing over there, you know. I'm definitely not a, a sea person. I'm a proper landlubber. Okay, so we're leaving the boating lake behind now. And I'm now going to be heading this way, getting closer to the marine hall. This is marine gardens. Lots a little bit bland actually, so I might skip this bit. Yeah, I'll probably skip this bit. There you are. Looks like a golf course or something. Like a pitch and putt or something like that. Anyway, we're going to skip this bit and head up to the far end. And we'll have a look at that uh, hotel over there on the corner. Plane. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a plane doing loop the loops here, look. Can you see that? Wow, the stuff that you see. I don't know where that plane came from, but it's doing loop the loops over Fleetwood. Wowzers. A bit of mini air show today. Sorry about the glare from the sun, I'm pointing straight into the sun here, but we're now looking at the Mount Pub and Restaurant here in Fleetwood, almost opposite the, um, the Marine Hall. Now this place used to be a hotel with 50 rooms, but all those rooms now have been converted into flats and it's now just a pub and a restaurant. It was built in 1896, the Mount Hotel, and it's seen such famous guests as Winston Churchill and the Beatles, amongst many others, no doubt. And as I turn this way, this is the actual mount here in Fleetwood. There you go, with the pavilion on the top. Look at that. Take a closer look at this pavilion up here and then we'll go over the road and we'll go and have a look at the Marine Hall. Just looking back this way, we've got a church there called Emmanuel at the Mount. And this row of houses here is actually quite impressive. I really like this row of houses here. Look at this. They are really impressive, those. I like the doors they've got on them as well. And that, that plane is still doing acrobatics. I just thought I'd show you a closer look at this terrace. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Making my way to the pavilion now. It's quite impressive this. I think it has been um, it has been refurbished fairly recently. It might have been last year. But yeah, it does look very impressive actually. And this is the highest point in Fleetwood. So we'll be able to look down on the uh, Marine Hall now. So here's a panorama from up here on the mountain Fleetwood. A little bit hazy today, looking towards Haitian up that way. Fleetwood Health and Fitness Centre down there. The swimming pool. And as I pan around this way, we've got the Marine Hall. This is a really good venue, actually. I'm going to show you some drone footage I just took. Oh, it's going back a while now. It might be a couple of years ago. Just gives you an idea of this place, a better a view from up, up there, a view of the Marine Hall. This was captured a few years ago, actually. And uh, yeah, the gardens are quite nice, actually. And there's quite a few famous acts that have played here. It is a pretty good venue. I'd say that these houses here that are behind the mount are probably on the more expensive side here in Fleetwood. They are really, really impressive. This is another terrace here that goes around the corner.
Anyway, let's head over to the Marine Hall and have a closer look. So we're now down by the Marine Hall and we'll take a little look around here at ground level. Quite a few people sat outside today because it's, it's obviously a really nice day today. Get married here as well. Oh look, a broken window there, look. These are, who was, oh, the, oh these are for next year, these. The Bon Jovi experience. The jerseys. A few uh, musicals there that are gonna be on next year. Pink Floydian. This is the kind of pattern that sends your eyes funny. Okay, I'm just going to head through here now onto the promenade. Let's have a look out here. Wowzers, look at this. Hey, eh? Out of the darkness and into the light. Look at that view. Isn't it amazing? The big blue yonder. There's a lot of doors behind these columns here and I'm just wondering whether they are chalets because they've actually got the beach huts just over here. If I turn around you can see the uh, bowling greens. But if we go this way they've got the beach huts. Let's go and have a little look at those. Now at the Fleetwood beach huts. Just looking towards the cafe over there. And there's a pan round. These are the beach huts here at Fleetwood. Just to the west of the uh, Marine Hall. There you go, the beach huts. Anyway, we're not too far from the end now, the North Houston Hotel. So let's carry on and see what else we can see up here. No pier, of course. Fleetwood lost its pier quite a while ago due to a, a fire. And uh, yeah, so Fleetwood Pier is no more. Shame that. This flower bed pattern here underneath the pavilion. Couldn't see it from up there. Quite impressive this. Spiky. Playing here at the Marine Hall. A funny thing happened. Yeah, it was supposed to be playing here last year and a funny thing happened. So this must have been rearranged. 4th of June. 2021, 7.30pm, tickets £18 if you want to see Dave Spikey. A funny thing happened, I shot Derek Rigby, says there, here at the Marine Hall in Fleetwood. Unless you're watching this after that date and you're out of luck. Anyway, I'm now going to head on to probably the last part of this tour now, towards the North Houston Hotel here in Fleetwood. And then we'll wrap it up and look out for part two. Okay, so we're now a little bit further up and there's another park here. I'll tell you what, there's so much here on the promenade, it's unbelievable. There's another bowling green up there and more beach huts as well, look. There's like a play area over there. Like a mini football pitch down here. As we head on towards the North Houston Hotel. There's a few hotels along here. That's quite a nice one. The Savoy there, look. Not quite as uh, grand as the Savoy in Blackpool, but a uh, nice little hotel that, isn't it? Hey. The Savoy here in Fleetwood. Really nice garden as well. Yeah. There you go, this is like the uh, the hotel area. This is one of the Fleetwood Beach kiosks and this one is closed but I think the main one is open a bit further up, we'll see that in a minute. But look at this bit here, there's a bit of a, a wasteland here. This must have been where the pier was. 
it must be this wasteland here is where the pier was it's got to be can you see how it's it looks all rough and i think i believe i might be wrong that joey blower not his real name you know the guy that does the comedy on the north pier at blackpool he owns this land here he owned fleetwood pier so and it's been empty all this time since it burned down Fleetwood pier which was on this spot here it was one of the shortest piers in the whole country at only 492 feet there's a statistic it was built in 1910 and uh, it was actually destroyed by a fire in 2008 and look at this now this is all that's left of it all that time 13 years and look at it it's just a wasteland isn't it i wonder what's going to happen with it Yeah, so if you'd have come here before 2008, you'd have seen Fleetwood Pier here, jut out into the sea, 500 feet. One of the shortest piers in the country, how about that? Now, history. I'll just show you a pan of the front. So yeah, so this is where Fleetwood Pier was, the front of Fleetwood Pier, right there. I remember it used to be very popular for bingo. I think my mum used to go. Yeah, it was a nice trip out for the bingo. Up to Fleetwood. And this is where it was here. How about that? And it burned down over 12 years ago. And it's still empty to this day. Unbelievable. Check out this Second World War mine here, look. It's now used as a collecting... Uh, box for the shipwrecked marinus society how about that anyway we're not too far from the end now there's the north houston there and i can see fleetwood beach kiosk up here and it's open that's all cavalier here coupe look at this that's all cavalier 1600 gl coupe i thought it was a lotus when i saw it at distance before you don't see something like this every day, do you? Look at that. Nice condition as well. So as you can see, it's quite popular here. Loads of uh, spaces for cars, for people to park and eat your ice cream or your chips. I think I'm ready for an ice cream, actually. I think I'm going to get one from here. There's a lighthouse there, Fleetwood Lighthouse. And here is the famous Fleetwood Beach Kiosk. I think I'll be getting a 99 from here. I'll tell you what, I've just had an ice cream from the Fleetwood Beach Kiosk and it was awesome. It was vanilla with raspberry sauce on it and it was only two pound as well. I'll just show you a picture now. And I think that was really reasonable, that two pound. I've actually heard that some ice cream sellers in Blackpool have been charging like, um, three pound at least for a little tub of ice cream and overcharged they've been accused of overcharging but that was really reasonable very impressive as well i was ready for that so we're now looking at the north euston hotel here in fleetwood on the northeastern tip this is often described as a jewel in fleetwood's crown this hotel this crescent hotel here look at the way it curves round and this hotel was built back in 1841 thought I'd give you a quick look around the back of the North Houston. The hotels are never very pretty around the back, are they? And this one's no exception. But it does have that nice uh, brickwork, like it does at the front. There's a big chimney there as well. Look at that chimney there. The hotel was commissioned and paid for by Sir Peter Hesketh Fleetwood and designed by architect Decimus Burton. It was built to serve overnight guests making the rail journey from London, Euston to a point close to the departure of the steamers to Scotland. And that's how it kind of got its name as a sort of, you know, it took its name from Euston in London, you know, as a halfway point between here and Scotland. Queen Victoria visited the North Euston. God, these seagulls are noisy. Queen Victoria visited the North Euston in 1847. Yes, Queen Victoria came here to the North Houston, how about that? 
It's been a few things over its time. It's also been barracks, the Euston barracks, when Fleetwood was a garrison town. It was converted into officers' quarters, which how it remained until the army left Fleetwood. After the barracks, it was converted back into a hotel again. It has 53 bedrooms, including three suites, a public bar, four function and meeting rooms, and a magnificent ballroom, which hosts regular tea dancers. And as you can see today, they also do weddings here as well. So this is the North Houston Hotel here in Fleetwood. Anyway, that's the end of this vlog here in Fleetwood. I finally got here, didn't I, in the end? Look out for part two where I'll be showing you the town centre here in Fleetwood. And in part three, I'll be carrying along the promenade round to the eastern side. We'll get to see the Fleetwood ferry that goes over to Knot End. And we'll also get to see the arcade over there. There's an arcade over there and the dock as well. That's in part three. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again in part two.